So welcome to the November 18th uh, Asia Pacific Community Call. It's good to see folks. Uh, so I shared the minutes in the chat. If you could add yourself as to attending the meeting, you can tell us how you're feeling today if you'd like as well. What time is it in Spain, Daniel, right now, without me doing the math? Oh, 3 p.m. Ah, two. Okay, that's not horrible for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Is it two o'clock in Spain? Oh, right now it's three. So, well, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Phoenix, lunch. I was super that, confused. That, all right, three is getting a little late for lunch. <laughs> Hey, King, I put the minutes in the chat, King, if you could just add yourself. Hopefully this is working for everybody. It works. All right, cool. Um, all right, so I wasn't in the last meeting. I'm happy to, to lead this one. But um, so I went through the minutes from the last time to try to pick out a few things. And I just had a few questions that I might want to run by people and just see their thoughts. So maybe the first is uh, thanks to King for getting the the version of the metrics. Do, do you all know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's the pretty, PowerPoint. It's pretty nice. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, I really like it, and I, I think I'm going to add it to the web page. I was kind of curious where people thought we could add it. Let me bring this up here for a second. I thought I had this tab open. but. Uh, I'm going to share That's my, my pyro, Matt. What's Matt? that? That's my pyro. <laughs> it's a tiger. So, I think. It's a tiger. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's my, it's my pleasure to do this. Oh, uh, your pleasure. Uh, yes, uh, it's, it's actually really good. So we really like it. So I was thinking, do people have thoughts? I'd like to get it on this metrics page. Are you sharing it right now? I'm sharing my screen. Okay, I'm no, sharing, I'm sharing the metrics I, page. I always have to look for where Zoom puts a share screen. <laughs> so it's kind of a big image just because we have a lot of metrics. So do- Can you share I mean, the image again? I, can, yeah, I, rem I remember yeah. it, but I- I remember it being cool and good, and I had some questions about it. There you go. Oh, yeah. OK. So I'd essentially like to get this onto the metrics page. Yeah. So I was just kind of like that. It's super helpful. It's mm -hmm. super crazy helpful. Um, let, can we update the names of reviews? Yeah, I mean, so yeah. do, do we do we have a yeah, we can update that. And I'm so fine, on, yeah. yeah. I was so on. impressed with this diagram. That I, I went and Googled the tool that King used and have used it to explain things in my class. <laughs> <laughs> so do we have I, I'm if I lost track of that conversation, do we have an editable version of this? Uh, Actually, it's uh, Markdown. You, you, um, it, uh, it, uh, this picture uh, uh, was gen generated by a man, a man node, and uh, it uh, it can consume a, mark, a mark, Markdown file, and then um, you can just uh, edit it. Or it, if you uh, if there was uh, if you want to uh, change uh, some words or yeah. something, you just update the, the markdown. But um, <laughs> but but the software yeah. um, you you need to uh, buy a, a, a you need to pay for the subscription. I've downloaded uh, this. I I have something that generates it from the markdown because I searched for something that 
Uh, I I can share the link. Uh, yeah, maybe. that'd be great. Okay. So and do we have the source file? Is there a? Oh, like right so now it, all I have all yeah. I have is the JPEG. Oh, it, it's a mark, Markdown file. You you can you can use it. Um, uh, we we can edit them, and then uh, we need to uh, use that software to generate to the picture. The, the image. Okay. Could you? Where is the markdown file? Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's up to <laughs> King. Yeah. Trade your trick questions. Yeah. He, he he just sent me the file and I have him yeah. to generate. <laughs> yeah. So I I don't have the Mac Mac uh, Mac book. So we don't have a MacBook. He generates it. I've used <laughs> mine. Yeah. The the software I found that does this. Like I reverse engineered it, it's called Mind Node on the Mac. Yeah, Mind Node. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I put it in the chat or in the minutes. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, so, anyway, just it's a to do for me. I want to get that on the web page and I'll just share that. So, so it was the thanks to King. Um, so, I was. The second point I have on the minutes was just about this call in, in general. So when I, I think when I first started this call or when we first started this call, my thought was is to kind of just recap some of the things that were occurring in the community. You know, so like taking the community call that we do on Tuesdays and recapping some of the some of the events that are occurring in the community for our Asia Pacific um, members, uh, which is totally fine. Uh, but also it seems like looking at the minutes, this call has turned towards trying to understand open source, both from an inner source perspective and from an OSPO perspective, which is completely fine as well. So do we want to, do people have thoughts on what we can, what we should be doing with this call? Because I'm happy to just give updates, but um, there also seems to be something more here with the OSPOs and inner source and thinking about the relationship between internal and external open source projects. It, yeah, I agree. It seems uh, my my rough sense of things is that it's um, it, it's there's more here than just the open source or just the, just the refreshing on the things we're doing here. I think there's a distinct interest in some of these inner source things. Mm -hmm. Do people, other people have thoughts? I'm just totally going based on the conversations and looking at the minutes. That always <laughs> seems to be where this call goes, which is completely cool. Maybe uh, maybe one of the things we may try to do, uh, I think I remember this from the DNI at the, at the very beginning, like, okay, what, what are my personal goals or goals in the company I work for or so? Uh, and then we try to list them and then how they are related to, to chaos um, with, with this list. And somehow with all together, we can look for the minimum uh, viable discussion based on the each of the bullet points that we may all have. Um, and minimum said, viable uh, discussion. I like that. I like that phrase. I like how it's, <laughs> it's a nice mashup. And, <laughs> and then we, we can go ahead and and, and, and work on those. Uh, so we we kind of fix the goals for the next six months or quarter. Yeah, that would be great. Um, I mean, we can do that. That'd be a fairly straightforward thing to do right now, even. Other people have thoughts? Uh, all right. Well, on on that, could we in the um, document here? Could we is that what you want, Daniel? Like for the call or okay? Uh, yeah. Well, it's it's about bringing your your goals. Maybe maybe you are involved in. Uh, in OSPO, or maybe you're involved in an inner source uh, office, or maybe you're involved in 
in, in some other areas, but but all of them are kind of related to chaos because we are all here. So how okay. is this? So we're, we're, what would I like to see as an output, an outcome uh, from chaos, from these meetings, like in a quarter or six months? So each of us, if I go and ask uh, King or Xiaoya or Don or Willem or, or Sean or Matt, any of, any of us, we have our own schedule of actions probably for the next weeks or months. So it's about having that explicitly here in the document. So then we can all try to look for that common discussion. So would you all be okay with to that end to just jotting down? I put the empty bullet points in there. Yeah, we can we can add for instance. Um, uh, yeah, we, we can go for this. And, um, So Matt, for the going back to the diagram in this quiet time of no taking, I, I think Kevin and or I could uh, work together to make it uh, the image clickable so it could actually take you to a metric. Be cool. Like, like I don't think that would be very hard. There's there's tools that let you create things on images. In this quiet time, you can also jot down your ideas for this call, uh, Sean. All right. Well, I was, yeah, since this Asia Pacific call, I was kind of like watching more than putting stuff in. Seems like there's actually quite a bit of alignment <laughs> on what the what the goals would be, at least from my read. Does, do people read that differently? Oh. Unless somebody's quietly not speaking, <laughs> like somebody's holding back their deep dark secret desire to turn this into a something else. Yeah, <laughs> like and I don't I don't believe that's likely it movie club yeah. <laughs> so I'll get our blockbuster cards out <laughs> So it, it does seem at least from the notes here, yeah. like I said, from the notes in the prior meetings that there's an interest in talking about community health metrics kind of at that OSPO and then thinking about how those can be um, useful from an inner source perspective and also from an open source perspective. Do people read that differently? I do not. Okay. I actually, so I think this might be very helpful too. Don, you can tell me if I'm wrong from a to-do group perspective. I know that 
they have um, guidelines with to to help OSPOs think about metrics that might be useful. Uh, but I don't know how much that's been developed lately. And maybe if we could help capture some of that conversation to contribute back to to do, that might be helpful. You you could ha you'd have way more thoughts on this than I would. Yeah, to be honest, I don't. I don't think we've had any real discussions within the to do group recently about metrics in particular. Um, they do have some some guides at the to do group uh, website. I'm not sure I'm trying to remember if there's a specific guide about metrics. I think it's just sort of sprinkled into some of the other guides, if I remember correctly. There's one that shows like the Grimoire Lab tools pretty explicitly. But I, you're right. I don't know if like the title is community health or something like that. It might be like yeah. things to think about when you're looking to engage with open source. Yeah. Um, and so I personally in the chaos project, I've been looking for a way to connect with the to do group as well a little bit more mm -hmm. explicitly. And I think it's important, you know, like if to build a relationship, it's good to bring things to that group as well. <laughs> Not just say, what can what can we do and you know, put the burden on other folks. So maybe this would be a way to not only uh, kind of articulate what, uh, what we could look at from a metrics or a community health perspective, inner source and open source wise, mm -hmm. but then also bring this to the to-do group as a way to, you know, foster that relationship. Yeah. Yeah, the challenge, so here's the challenge with that. And yeah. um, it's probably why we haven't had a lot of um, interaction directly with to-do group is that uh, kind of the rules about the to-do group is that the only people who are allowed to participate are open source program offices. Um, and explicitly vendors are prohibited from um, like engaging uh, with the to-do okay. group. So Baturgia, so for example, cannot engage with the to-do group explicitly. So the first rule now, of to-do group you is all we talked about to-do group. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean, you all work for universities and we're a Linux foundation project. Um, so there might be some way that we could, um, you know, I don't know, do something jointly yep. with, with the to-do group. But I'm uh, the, the, these have been the challenges with, okay. with the metric stuff working with the to-do group. But we can probably find a way to do it, but we just need to be careful about how we do it That's and how we, how we approach it. Those are good points. We have talked with Chris in the past and he yeah. has been receptive to try to foster a relationship with yeah. chaos, but your point is well taken. We, the way I see this may happen, if that makes sense, um, and then you will say is, so we have uh, kind of external places where chaos might be observed and interest. So the to-do group is one of them, inner source commons might be another one of them, and there are some other places, right? Um, so we either, bring people from those communities here, or if there's certain interest around here that there's interest for us for, or, or for inner source, then we can start building uh, and discussing specifically around metrics mm -hmm. um, that matter to any of these areas. So with the goal of either extending the knowledge that it's already created in those communities, so then they can reference back, would be good. Um, yeah, that's, that's a really good idea. It's probably much easier for us to engage people from the to-do group to engage with us within the chaos project than it yeah. is for the chaos project to engage in the to-do group. Gotcha. Fair. Okay. I mean, yeah, that seems like, um, yeah. And we can find a way to do that because I suspect that, um, I mean, a lot of a lot of the people who run open source program offices use various types of metrics, and a lot of them are based on chaos. So we probably just need to make sure that we reach out to the right right people. And I can I can help facilitate that. Okay. And would the same directionality be with inner source commons? Was that yeah, your suggestion, exactly Daniel? During the last summit, we we had a couple of discussions around metrics, the kind of metrics they are. Uh, using um, even one of the examples, uh, well, this, this is a public example, so this public video is from Comcast. They are, I think they are part of the to-do group. Um, and it's it's about the metrics they were using and how they were using inner source to foster the open source, to, to skill up developers so then they can, they can go and do more open source. Gotcha, okay, that's, that's cool. Um, all right, so then this, this leads to, um, I thought I had 
two. Do you ever have that where you think you have two points and then you can only remember one? All so the time. I, I at least have, <laughs> I had, they were <laughs> so the clear in my head too. <laughs> so this leads to one point. One is that, you know, I, oh, I know. I actually remembered what both are. So one would be, if we're going to, if, if this is what this call is about, right? Thinking about how metrics can be thought of from an OSPO perspective to help with inner source and to help with open source. Um, do we rename this call? So Asia Pacific right now is a pretty general call. And so for example, there's another working group in the chaos project called the app ecosystem group. And they're looking at metrics that are helpful to understand um, kind of a, a broader ecosystem as one open source project is set within a larger ecosystem of other open source projects. What does health mean in that regard? And so they, they use metrics that have already been developed in say the DNI working group or the evolution working group or the value working group and say, it's the combination of these metrics that would prove useful when trying to gain health on an ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And so we, we could follow a similar path where we would say, listen, we already have 60 metrics. I'm sure some could be developed here, but we already have 60 metrics. Let's think about how some of those metrics could be brought together meaningfully to provide insights for OSPOs as informed by, by people who are in the OSPOs. Um, but that would require maybe or um, lend itself towards renaming this group, which would be like the inner, you know, the OSPO working group or something along those lines. I I'm curious to hear what our, what our Asian Pacific colleagues um, have to say about that. Like, because uh, I know there's been talk on this call before of having an Asia Pacific event. And so I don't know if if there is, like I, they may not be mutually exclusive. Um, uh, I don't know how to say it. Like maybe it's the Asia Pacific call, but we can advertise that the inner source is kind of being talked about a lot here right now. Um, and, and, you know, and I guess my question is, does that align with the goals that King and Willem have and the others who are actually in the Asia Pacific? One thing we could do is get better about having agendas in advance and posting those agendas to the chaos list a couple of days before the meeting so that if people outside of Asia Pacific are interested in hearing about whatever it is we're going to talk about, like, you know, chaos con China or inner source or interactions with open source program offices, then other people could, could join us. So the kind of maybe keep the name, but improve the messaging of the conversation that's occurring. Yeah, make sure people know that, you know, anyone's welcome to join. This is what we're going to talk about. If you're interested in anything on this agenda, you should, you should join us. And then I think it would also get more perspectives too from within the chaos project, because it does seem like it's always sort of like, like the four of us and then, then then people from from Asia Pacific or people from China. And it, we don't get a lot of participation from other other people within the project other than just a few of us. And it's kind of the same people all the time. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm agree with Don Foster's uh, opening. So, you know, the uh, other work group, uh, the time zoom is uh, basically on the US US uh, American time zoo. So you know, in the Asia uh, and the Pacific, uh, other countries, uh, some of the contributors, uh, the time is limit to join the meeting. And uh, you know the, uh, you know now the America go into the winter time. You know, so later uh, one hour than before <laughs> in the summer. So I think uh, uh, this is. Uh, this uh, meeting can we can talk about everything on this meeting uh, 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 not uh, not uh, only the metrics as I think it's uh, for the Asia Pacific 
country, uh, the contributor guys can have the meeting, get together uh, to talk about uh, everything about the chaos metrics. Yeah. Okay, so what I what I got out of that is um, is also within the calls ensuring that we talk talk about chaos too, not just a total focus on ospos. Is that right, King? Mm, I think it's a, it's good uh, good yes it's a good aspect to to talk about uh, ospo. Uh, you know, uh, in, uh, because we are working in the Huawei's company, so we can extend the chaos metrics in our open source project and the feedback to the chaos. And uh, I think it's uh, it's uh, you can rename the you can rename the meeting uh, about uh, something about OSPO. Uh, yeah, you know the Dawn is uh, uh, expert. <laughs> she is working in OSPO, so she can. Uh, teaching us and uh, uh, we can learn a lot from her and uh, we can feedback some uh, metrics uh, in our company. We talk about and uh, through this meeting, we can feedback the, some uh, metrics. You know, uh, the last uh, one month, I uh, I created, uh, I opened three issue about metrics. Uh, so that's, uh, uh, that's uh, uh, we, we are talking about in, internal, our company, uh, many times. So I created this issue. I think uh, it's a good uh, pass. This is a good platform to talk about the issue we are in create. We are uh, talk about uh, in our company, and uh, we can feedback to the chaos, yeah. and uh, and we can share our best practice uh, with everybody, uh, everyone uh, on this meeting. Yeah, I think that'd be great. Okay, I got this. So maybe um, based on this conversation, um, an action item for me would be to kind of make a proposal for the next one as to what the meetings can be um, and how we might go about improving the messaging of those meetings. Don, yeah, have some, comment? One, what I would suggest is that maybe maybe you and and King or one of the other people kind of work offline to put the agenda together sure. for the next meeting so that we can we can maybe talk about some of the stuff that you know the, the issue that the king has within Huawei. We could we could talk about maybe maybe there's some stuff that uh, Willem is interested in talking about. But I would recommend that maybe maybe we have like a joint effort where where you work with a couple of the people from right on. from the call and put an agenda together. And as long as we put the agenda together. I don't know, maybe at the end of the week before the meeting, then we can, you know, Monday or, or so send send it to the chaos list so that other people know what we're going to talk about and encourage other people to attend. Okay, cool. Great, thank you everybody. That's really good feedback. Um, all right, so the next item on the list is uh, chaos con. China or ChaosCon Asia Pacific. So this came up on the community call yesterday um, with respect to having a ChaosCon in, in the near future. Uh, and the, the conversation moved towards the opportunity to have ChaosCon uh, as a virtual and in-person event in China. Uh, so Perhaps we could explore this idea here and, and maybe think about if we want to do this, what the timing could look like, what structure could look like, just you know, what would this, what would this be? So I think there's interest from folks to get this moving. Uh, actually, uh, there's a Finosos uh, Khan Summit which will be held uh, virtually next month. It was held, uh, it, it, uh, it, it is held uh, by uh, Tencent. So um, 
uh, I, I think we can we can borrow some uh, ideas from the uh, Inner Source Summit. It, it's only uh, 15 minutes uh, talk. Uh, each one can get a 15 minutes talk. And uh, uh, we uh, can pre uh, record uh, our presentation and and uh, send out. So I, I guess we can follow some uh, best practices that they already have, and uh, maybe we can come up a proposal for that. And uh, we also need <laughs> uh, others to help uh, because uh, uh, the meeting is, um, <laughs> there's a lot of work need to be, to be done. So we, we need help from the community. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I would just yeah. say yes. We've yeah, uh, certainly it's a, an open source problem. <laughs> There's lots of work to do. <laughs> yeah. My uh, my personal opinion is if we are going to have a chaoscom in China or Asia Pacific, I think it is better to be um in person meeting. Um, because um I have a lot of um classmates um who are interested in chaos and I think if uh, chaos has an actual event in China and they they will definitely attend that meeting but if it's a virtual virtual meeting and um, I can ensure I can ensure they will still going to listen some of those some of those yeah, yeah. no I, I I mean I think if an in-person conference can be facilitated that would be ideal I don't know if North America will be able to pull that off in 2020. Um, I think we would struggle to get experts to present at an in-person event. Um, mm -hmm. We could do some sort of hybrid where some of the presenters were virtual and the attendees were in person. I mean, I don't, I don't know what the situation is right now in in China for in-person events, but. We've been told that most of next year we're not going to be allowed to attend any events um, right. at, from VMware. And and personally, like I don't think we could yeah. justify the expense of sending me to <coughs> to present at yeah. a but I could do a virtual presentation. Yeah, my university is they won't approve any travel right now to anywhere. Like it's, they look at it in the risk, as a risk problem for them. Just to, to mention that, uh, to, to bring some more context in addition to what William mentioned before, um, at, the, at the Inner Source Commons, what, what we are doing this time is kind of a hybrid model as well, where, um, so we have the, well, 15 minutes talks, 20 and 10 minutes, depending on keynote, community talk, or, or regular talk. But then we are gonna have breakout sessions. And some of the breakout sessions uh, well, they are going to be in Chinese as well, uh, or initially they were going to be in Chinese. So there, there might be uh, discussions in second language. <coughs> okay, so that's something new. Um, so, uh, and the Tencent people, what they are, what they are going to do is to have people in person in one room where they will bring uh, uh, translators, so they they can they can work with with that uh, uh, bi-directional Chinese English English Chinese. But most of the discussions and everything is going to be pre-recorded, as Willem mentioned. And then uh, it happens that in this case in Tencent, it's easier for them to have people in a room. So then they are bringing all together there. So we may have some kind of hybrid model. Um, we can play with that. In the breakout rooms, Daniel, is there a virtual presence as well? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. OK. But if, if, if it makes sense in this case to have physical presence, then people that are allowed to, to be there, they can do it. The only, perhaps the only requirement if, if we ask for something like this is to uh, communicate back to the, communi to the community what, what they were discussing about kind of a summary or so. Or if it's, if it's a workshop, maybe they have as an output. I remember the DNA workshops that we had in, in, in Foston a couple of years ago. So, we may we may ask for these kind of things, so then this is useful for for everyone in the community. If that makes sense. It does. So Shoya dropped off. So 
Um, would there be a location? I, I saw in the minutes that Shanghai was a preferred city. <laughs> it's kind of kind of a big place. <laughs> Is would, it, would there be a location that that could house an in person event? As part of the hybrid part, the in person portion of the event. Uh, yeah, I I guess uh, Xiaoya's uh, university they they have a bunch of the student and uh, we hold uh, host con, open source con in China uh, last year, and uh, I I think it's a good place. Um, and uh, uh, the 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 teacher uh, 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 we are working closely. So, so we, we had a regular uh, uh, team meeting, just like uh, uh, Chaos Asia Pacific meeting. So, so we uh, uh, cooperate closely. So um, maybe we, we can work together. And uh, uh, they, all, um, they also uh, had uh, some uh, volunteers uh, from the university. They, they, they help uh, to, to, to host this kind of uh, event, but uh, uh, I, I think we, we can talk about uh, at the end of this uh, this week. We we, we have a, a in person meeting, uh, so so maybe we we can talk about it, and uh, I will I will uh, uh, update you and um, in next meeting. If that's <laughs> that, that would be great. That would be great. Um... Do you have a, a link to the university? What university it is? Uh, okay, let, let me check. <laughs> okay. The university uh, is, uh, I guess, uh, let's see. So. And then maybe while you're looking that up, timing wise, did people have a thought? like March, I put. I don't remember if we talked about this at all yesterday in the community call. A couple of weeks ago, I think we were discussing about uh, like in green or yeah, I know. Okay. So possibly in March, okay. Spring, okay. And then Willem too, I'd say that in the past chaos cons, thank you, mm -hmm. oh, chaos yeah. cons, they've been, um, they've only been a single day. And mm -hmm. to your point, we would, in the chaos project, we can help with like calls for papers. We can help with um, accepting the submissions. We can help with the review process, help meaning kind of run those things. We've run them yeah. in the past. One of, my, one of my PhD students is actually a East China Normal University uh, graduate. He's a professor at Texas Tech now. I know East China Normal University. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like good. It's a name I've seen. Put that in so. there. Well, that's fine. All right. Um, any other thoughts on this? It sounds like Willem's going to talk with the university, see if it's possible to create a connection between chaos and the university. I don't think it needs to be more than a day. That's my own personal take. And like I said, we can help a lot with solicitation and collecting the submissions and helping with the reviews and even helping with um, secure keynote speakers if they're virtual for um, the talk as well. Yeah. I. I, I think that is uh, quite great. Um, we can hold, um, hold these kinds of uh, hyper virtual meeting uh, early next year. Yeah, that'd be yeah. awesome. But, but you yeah. know, we, and we have uh, so the, the, the meeting notes from the 21st of, uh, of October. Thank you, King, for this. We mentioned about May or June as, as dates. That was May or June. Okay. Oh. Um, and another thing is, uh, at least based on experiences from the inner source commons, if you go for a full virtual meeting more than three hours, people are starting to, you know, to, to be totally out. So that's exhausting. So if we go for a hybrid model, maybe we can go for like, uh, I don't know, 
an hour of talks, then there are some uh, physical breakout sessions. And then after a while, there are some more uh, virtual meetings, like another hour or virtual talks. So then we allow like having some, some, some talks in a virtual way and then some discussion in the physical event. So then people can, can engage either at the physical event or uh, during the virtual uh, discussions. Um, but then for the people that are fully virtual, then they will be just for the for the meeting and perhaps a virtual breakout, but no more than two three hours. That's my suggestion. Did you for the intersource commons? Did you do that model over over a couple days? Because yeah. I think this yeah. has come up before where we talked about kind of having not just a single day but two days of of lighter commitment over the course of those two days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, it's been uh, in this the last the last two and the next one in 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 APAC time zone friendly, so it was around three hours, and then two days, and then it's like keynote, regular talks, breakout rooms, some community talks, uh, another regular talk perhaps, and and keynote. So then we have keynotes at the beginning, at the end, some discussion in the middle, and then the same for the second day. So keynotes are a bit longer, breakout rooms are good for you know. Uh, know each other, meet the community, and so on. Uh, chat with each other, small groups of 10, 15 people at most. And then you go back to the discussions. If we go for the hybrid model, we can go for, I you know, talks, some breakout sessions, and then the rest of the day is mm. physical event, but then people that are virtual simply left the discussion. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll, I'll say if, if the model has worked well for inner source comments, I'm usually a fan of yeah, re yeah. replicating things that work. And if people had been were satisfied with how 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 it went, um, well, <laughs> it's we the bar our own way of doing things. I think it depends a little bit on how we decide to structure it, because if if the attendees from China are going to be um, face to face for the most part, then we probably want to stick to one day. <laughs> Um, if, if we think that most of the attendees are going to be virtual, then it probably makes sense to split it up a little bit. So I think, right. I think maybe we should base the decision based on what, what we think the attendees are going to do, because like, yeah. like Daniel said, like a virtual event, like I'm doing this with KubeCon this week and it's just going to be painful. It's just so much, so much mm -hmm. time staring at a screen and I, it just, yeah. It's hard. So the so you're so you're saying if it's a lot of in person folks in China, yeah. have it as a, as a as a day and virtual mm -hmm. folks can kind of come and go as as they please. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. if it's uh, more virtual, then sp spread it, it out just a little bit. To, is that right? It sounded like Gioia preferred the face to face in, within China if that's possible. Mm -hmm. I know she's left the call now. So yes, but I agree. I agree that. If it's face, I, I agree with the general logic. I did hear a preference for face to face. Yeah, right on. I, you know, I that's don't. a good point. What about <coughs> King? Do you have any opinions on one day, two day? Sorry, I couldn't say I. I I have no idea about that, but okay. but uh, <laughs> maybe I. <laughs> I turned to the the the. The inner source uh, uh, virtual summit uh, because I will uh, uh, fly to Shenzhen uh, uh, and uh, to to talk with the uh, uh, Tencent guys and uh, it's a very good opportunity to to <laughs> to, to to get know better about them and uh, uh, maybe next ne next meeting we oh sorry uh, uh, let me check. Uh, uh, next next meeting, I, I will okay. give you some back feedback. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, also we don't. This is something we don't need to decide right away. We can we can see how the intersource Commons meeting went. We can see what the pandemic is looking like in a couple of months. Um, I think we can. I think we can delay the the decision about whether it's one day or two days if we're not going to have it until spring, anyways. So we can we can spend some time thinking about it. We can we can talk to some more people, maybe talk to some people at the university and see what they think. Mm -hmm. Sure. This is great. Thank you, everybody. Uh, all right. Well, I think with that, 
we covered some good ground today. I think trying yeah. to some focus on the call and chaos con China or chaos con Asia Pacific. This is really good. So thank you everybody and good luck with your week of conference dawn and <laughs> uh, and thanks for everybody for joining and we will see you all soon. All right. See you all see you very, very soon. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.